the nectar up using their tubular tongues, called a proboscis, and store it in their stomachs. Bees have special enzymes in their stomachs that can turn the nectar into watery honey. The bees put the watery honey into a cell of the honeycomb. Honeycomb is made out of a waxy substance the bees make, called beeswax. The bees turn the watery honey into thick honey by fanning it with their wings. This evaporates the water from the honey and makes it thick and golden. When the honey is thick enough, the bees cover the honeycomb cell with a cap to keep it safe. It takes an amazing 5,000 worker bees to gather enough nectar to make just one small jar of honey. That's a lot of flying, collecting and honey making. Beekeepers take a small amount of honeycomb from each hive. They can tell it's time to harvest a hive when they can see wax caps on the top of the honeycomb. They take the wax caps off the top and the honey pours out. Bees make much more honey than they need to live on, so the beekeeper can take some from each hive without harming the bees. The honey from the hives is placed in drums and transported to the factory. Then it is cleaned and filtered, taking out anything you wouldn't want to eat. The warm, filtered honey is stored in large vats. The honey makers regularly check the temperature to make sure it's correct. When the production line is ready, the honey is put into containers and labelled. This factory fills around one million jars a week. Finally, the jars are put into boxes and then packed into lorries, ready to take to your local store. Next time you have honey on your toast, don't forget to think of all the thousands